Hi, my name is Antje Metvienko and I'm from Technical University of Darmstadt, Germany. On behalf of my co-authors, I'm going to present to you our work titled eScooter, exploring unimodal warnings for eScooter riders in augmented reality. Electric scooters and or e-scooters facilitate convenience of mobility and sustainability in cities and replace short-distance driving in urban environments. However, traffic safety regarding e-scooters is a big concern, as indicated by accident reports. The main circumstances and locations where e-scooter riders are injured include crashing with moving vehicles while riding on the road, bicycle lane or sidewalk. Therefore, in this work we explore the idea of augmented e-scooters with unimodal warning signals to facilitate the safety of e-scooter riders on the road with intersections. We compared three unimodal warnings for e-scooter riders to situations with no warnings as a baseline at intersections with approaching vehicles. The augmented reality warning displayed a text saying, Warning, detected car getting close, on the left. Auditory warning signal emits beeping signals in the middle and the vibratile feedback is activated on the grips of the handlebar on the right. The virtual environment was implemented using Unity game engine and shown in Microsoft HoloLens 2 augmented reality glasses. We detected the rider's position using invisible checkpoints and rearranged the tiles to create a new road, facilitating a continuous ride for each condition. We recruited 13 participants for our experiment with one independent variable, type of warning signal. During the experiment, participants were wearing AR glasses, which showed a virtual city and were physically riding on the empty, restricted parking lot. We used AR simulation to ensure visibility of the real world for safety reasons, for example, to avoid riding against objects in the real world, unlike virtual reality simulations that shows only the virtual world. The e-scooter was equipped with four vibration motors on the left and right sides of the handlebar and the reaction button on the left to measure reaction time to the warnings. We found that it takes longer to perceive and react to vibrotactile than AR and auditory warnings. However, the accident rate rem uh, remained consistent for all types of warning signals. In summary, we found that augmented reality and auditory warnings lead to shorter reaction times when a dangerous situation happens, higher perception and acceptance of, of the signals, and create a better feeling of safety compared to vibrotactile warnings. Moreover, the multimodal solution with a combination of AR and auditory signals might be a suitable solution for more complex traffic situations, which requires further investigation. With this, I would like to end my talk. I thank you for your attention.